it's not necessarily a, you know, let's make everything accessible over 10 years or five years or whatever it is. It's like, no, you can, you can leverage one small aspect or one small subset of data that you're not using today. And that can completely uh, transform a specific aspect of your, your banking experience. Like that, that like a single yeah. step could transform the way people view your bank. No, exactly. I mean, that's like, that's the same thing. So when you're thinking about things like hyper-personalization with data fabrics, or you're thinking about application modernization, a lot of people think about those as kind of monolithic things because they have been in the past. I mean, if you look at the way that the data stores have evolved and went from OLTP stores to warehouses to lakes, <clears throat> now moving into lake houses and mesh, every time that that's occurred in the journey, IT has basically said, hey, we've got a full rip and replace here. We're going to take out our warehouses and we're going to move it to a lake. And then now the answer is, okay, we got to take our lakes and our Hadoop stores, rip and replace those, and then deploy it on some new cloud data warehouse. And we take a fundamentally different approach in our conversations to say, it isn't a monolithic rip and replace. It's not a wholesale all or nothing. It's really an incremental change process where we'll help you identify, here's the high impact area, go tweak that a little bit, get some value here, and then move on to the next step. So you think of it as like a series of MVPs or, or proof and value points instead of this huge, hey, you have to rip out all your systems and replace it. And that doesn't just apply to data stores. It also applies to application modernization, where a lot of organizations will say, you've got your stuff on premises right now. The answer is lift and shift everything to the cloud immediately and rebuild it all. Organizations are finding that that's literally impossible in the sense that they don't have enough manpower to do that. They don't have enough money to spend in order to lift and shift all their applications instantly. And so we're having that conversation of what makes sense to move? When do you move it? How do you move it? And what's the most efficient way so that you can get value without doing this gigantic organizational, organizational and architectural change?